everybody. Welcome to Clearwater, Florida. My name is Jason. Uh, recently, I was in contact with Renegy and they offered to send me one of their new products to test and review. And so we're going to do that today. We're going to walk through an unboxing. I'm going to talk you through the key features. And I think you guys will enjoy it because in this bag right here is the new product and it is the Renegy One Core. So let's go look at this thing. All right, guys, welcome back. Right here in front of me is the Renogy One Core. Uh, box very nicely. Um, on the outside of the box, you've got the QR code for the DC Home app. Uh, it's on both the Apple Store and Google Play. Um, with the Renogy One M1 and obviously now the Renogy One Core, the box and the packaging is excellent. It reminds me of unboxing like a new iPhone or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and Pop the top off this thing and see what we got inside. All right. Looks like you got the uh, the quick guide right there. Um, looks like it's pretty straightforward. Open up the cover on the inside right away. You've got the QR code to actually download the digital version of the quick guide and the user manual. Um, doesn't look too complicated. Obviously, there's some instructions there for mounting. Looks like you need a hole saw, a uh, 55 millimeter hole saw. So I think that's a two inch um, hole saw uh, bit right there. Um, nothing big. Talks you through pairing and setting up. Pretty quick, straightforward. All right. Then you get the e warranty card. And there's the device itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Renogy One Core. Uh, you know what? I have to say, I honestly like the fact that um, this is much less intrusive on the wall than the Renogy One M1. Um, those of you who already have that version, you guys know that the backside of that thing has this huge bulbous area to that you have to cut out into the wall or you have to make a special mount for it. Um, Inside here is a bubble level, so you know that you're monitor level. So I'll tell you one of the, the, the biggest features, which we'll get to in a second, is the fact this thing has RV leveling installed, uh, which is nice. So uh, for the RV guys, this is this is a, this device is pretty specific for the RV community, uh, and uh, we're excited to have it. So let's see what else is in the box. All right, looks like we got probably the power cables. Yep, standard power cables with the, the plug in the back for the back there and I'm sure the mounting screws for the bracket are in there I will say this this is pretty cool um, in That manual it shows that you can mount this tabletop style and just kind of leave it in the box and run your cables down below and uh, They designed the box that way so if you didn't want to actually install this in the wall or you just want to have it set out on the table You can do that um, obviously, if you do it this way, the auto leveling will not work, or not auto leveling, but the leveling feature will pretty much be useless. But uh, for those of you who just want the monitoring capability for your electronics in your solar package, that's that's pretty cool. So anyway, go ahead and put this back together. I think what we'll do is, is I've got a Renogy One M1 sitting right here. We'll do a size comparison so you guys can see. Pull it out of the box. So there's the one core and here's the one M1 right here. Um, this, the screen area looks bigger, but it is the same size four inch screen. The only difference is, is it doesn't have the, um, the three switches and I'll go ahead and pull it out and I'll show you the difference on the back side, what I meant by less intrusive when you're installing. So right here is the Renogy One M1. You see this large area? All of that has to be recessed versus this, which has to be recessed. I don't even think that's probably half an inch right there. Maybe. Maybe a half inch that you'd have to recess it and it's a perfect circle. So um, 
super easy, less intrusive, and that's pretty handy because RV walls, RV construction, the walls are sometimes pretty thin on the interior. So that would be pretty nice. Um, one of the things they also did is they sent me the, because this is a uh, smart automation, so it comes with a motion sensor, a window and door sensor, a smart relay, and a uh, smart plug. So I don't know where we're gonna use all this stuff yet. I was thinking maybe um, installing the door and window sensor on the actual trunk of our Airstream travel trailer. Um, so I'd be notified if it gets opened up or something like that and I'm not around. Um, the motion sensor might be handy for uh, critters. <laughs> Whenever you store your RV, uh, oftentimes you'll end up with a unwanted guest. I'll just say that. And I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with the Zigbee relay switch yet, the smart relay, but we'll figure all that out as we go. So let's pull this back up here. All right. Let's talk about the features um, of the Renogy One Core. Um, so basically, it's a comprehensive solution to monitoring all of the energy components, all of your solar, your batteries, uh, from anywhere in the world, as long as it's connected to a Wi-Fi signal. Um, it does have 24-7 energy analysis, worldwide monitoring, built-in RV leveling. So it doesn't actually level your RV. I don't want people to get confused. But what it does do is um, allows you to see how level your RV is while you are moving it. So um, there are other products out there that RVers use to do that where you can sit in your truck and you can get your RV as level as possible before you stop and then actually manually level it. It's pretty handy. Um, it has smart home integration, easy installation, and over-the-air updates. So we're going to go and cover all that stuff through the installation and setup process. Let's get outside and get this thing installed. All right, guys. So welcome to Sunshine State Streaming's 2001 uh slide out model airstream so just to uh, uh give you a heads up the install for the range one core was well it was more difficult than i think it should have been only because we don't have with airstreams the outside walls are curved we only have a few walls that are really usable on the inside um, structure. So we ended up having to go on the wall adjacent to the refrigerator. The only problem we found was is that when Airstream built this, they filled this whole wall except for this area right here full of spray-in foam insulation. So there was no way once we cut the hole to fish the wire down uh, below and, and get it tied into a 12-volt connection. So what we ended up having to do was, and there's, if you go to the video that will be following this, um, you'll see where we had to actually channel out this um, half inch um, marine grade plywood all the way down the wall. Then we backfilled it with wood filler, sanded it and repainted the whole wall. Um, to get this done right and it it turned out fantastic you can't even tell that the the channel for this power wire actually runs right along here it goes down and it goes below this cabinet straight down the wall but it's all concealed within this this wall so um we basically routed out about a um probably a uh, quarter inch deep trough all the way down, ran the wire in, filled it in with wood putty um, or wood filler, let it dry, sanded down the whole wall, and then painted the wall completely new again. This is normally the wall that our TV mounts back here, but it, we, we figured that the best place to put the, the core would be in the vicinity of the, um, the thermostat. We have a new thermostat coming. We have a smart thermostat coming. Um, there'll be other videos on that later. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get to this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Once you have everything set up, um, what you're going to do is, is you're going to 
use the, or get the, the mounting plate first, run your cord through the wall, and then you remember that bubble level that we could see in the unboxing, you wanna make sure that this bubble in here is absolutely dead center before you anchor this, this panel. Okay, once you get your plate mounted, you, all you do is plug it in. You're gonna tilt it just to the side, rotate it forward, and it'll start to power up. All right guys, so I went ahead, now that the Ranji One core is actually mounted on the wall, I went ahead and I remounted my TV to get that taken care of so I don't have to mess with that anymore. What we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through step-by-step -step programming the Ranji One core and setting it up for your system. My system consists of 600 amp hours of the Renergy Smart Lithium. I have a 100 amp hour solar controller. That is what I'm actually gonna be connected to on this, along with, I'm gonna go ahead and connect one of the smart plugs so you guys can see how that works. So follow along. All right guys, so once you go ahead and you power it up the first time, it's gonna go to a privacy policy screen. Um, you can go ahead and take your time, read through that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and accept. It's going to search for your local network. So this will be whatever Wi-Fi connection you're using. All right, so click here. Put in the password. All right. Okay, it's verifying the network. Okay, so once that's done, it'll pop up with the QR code for you to scan and uh, that'll take you to a place where you can download the DC Home app for your mobile device. I already have that uh, installed on my mobile device, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit install at the bottom. It's gonna pair with the app. done and what it's gonna do is it said let's add devices all right here we go it's starting to pick up the devices now it's picking up the batteries what I'll do before I hit add is I'll verify that all the batteries are there, which right now it's only got three, four, five, six. All right, all six batteries and the controller are there, so I'm good to hit add. Got it. Okay, and then you'll go back to home. It'll take a second for everything to kind of catch up and calibrate. Right now with all the rain we're getting, we're probably not getting any energy in through the controller. I'll go ahead and tap on that. It gives you your controller information. Oh, look at there, 15.6 volts of solar volts, about <laughs> half an amp of, of solar coming in. We have a thunderstorm sitting over top of us right now, so that's why that's happening. Are right, you gonna go out, you're gonna click on batteries, and what I would do now is verify that all of your batteries are here. I have six of them, so I'm gonna go through and click, swipe. All right, all six batteries are present. Go back out and click to home. Now, what I'm gonna do next, because it's the easiest thing left to do, is, is I'm gonna go ahead and set up the RV leveling um, component of the Renogy One Core. So that's really super simple. I will tell you, step one is to make sure you level the camper, all right? Step two is gonna be going in here and go to settings, click on RV leveling, so the core itself is actually facing from the back of the camper to the front of the camper. So you're gonna go ahead and click here. I'm gonna hit save next. And go up here to settings. You're gonna hit calibrate. 
calibrating and it's level. Now, I, I, I had already done this once before and pre-leveled the camper, um, so I knew that it was already set up and good to go. But anyway, that's how that happens. All right, now let's do this. And when you're gonna go add your um, additional devices, all you do is go to add devices. You'll plug in whatever you're doing uh, as far as your, uh, like your smart plug or your relays or your sensors. And you'll just go back into add devices and it'll scan for them. So anyway, back to home. Now, I'll show you here on the app that it's connected. All right. And then we're on the app, okay? On the app, I'll say this, it does give you at the top uh, the current weather conditions. It says light rain, um, which is true. It's not raining real hard, but there is some thunder out there. Gives you the temperature, and I do like this. So for all you RVers out there and you travelers, it does provide you, for based on your current location, um, all nearby or the closest RV parks or campgrounds from where you're at exactly. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, guys, so that's it. That is actually the setup process and installation process for the Renna G1 Core. I am in love with this new device and over the next couple of months, what we'll probably do is um, work on getting some more videos and testing it as we travel. Uh, we have a few trips planned coming up and hope you guys stick with us. They actually use spray foam insulation from about here all the way down on the main refrigerator part in order to make sure it stays cool to help it with insulation. And um, so there's no way to actually run this wire this power wire down through this hole and then down the wall where I'm gonna actually tie it into this bundle of 12 volt.